Most people are familiar with Leonardo's drawing of a man showing the proportions of a body with a circle and a square. This is Cecil, who was a bit bashful and had to be replaced. The one that everybody generally, generally knows is where a circle is inscribed from the navel uh, in this way, or showing that the sex organs at half the height. In the harmonics theory, we may look at how we, different wave structures are divided up according to the ones that are expected to have the most energy. From the fundamental harmonic, the next most energetic one is expected to be the harmonic, the second harmonic, which will divide the space exactly in half. It will also oscillate at twice the speed, as anyone who knows who uses a guitar or violin will know. The next strongest harmonic is the fourth harmonic, which again divides the space into four and vibrates at four times the frequency. The next one is not the eighth, but the twelfth harmonic is the next strongest one, dividing the fourth one into threes, so that we get this pattern of division into twelve. After that, the next expected strong harmonic is the twenty-fourth, and here I've only shown it in the very left-hand part of the division. <coughs> now, let's look at applying these uh, to Leonardo's man. If we take his man uh, and just take the vertical dimension of his height, and we now begin to apply these different harmonics. So his height divided in a half gives us the position of the genitals or the base of the spine. Again, dividing now into the fourth harmonic, we find positions at the bottom of the knees and at the heart. These are recognized as, co as strong energy points in people. Just magnifying that upper part now and then putting in a, some red dots, we find that these positions are the well-known positions that people say there are chakras, starting at the base of the spine or the genitals, then the lower abdomen, then the upper, uh, a bit further up the abdomen, the heart, the throat chakra. Another one at the base of the nose, which is not generally recognized as a chakra, but is mentioned as so by people such as Yogananda. The brow chakra is the 24th harmonic, and the top of the head is, is the, um, just the top, isn't it? If we were divide still further, um, for example, into 70 seconds, or a third of the 24th harmonic, we find that this gives us all the layers of the acupuncture points. Not only that, those layers also correspond to the layout of the spine, uh, the positions and the positions of the ribs, which are actually, in a man that is six feet tall, they are all spacings of exactly an inch, dividing it by 72. Some obvious cycles or rhythms in the human body are the, the brain waves, the heartbeat and the breath. This graph shows a recording I made by sitting on a microphone and recording. Uh, it was actually under my thigh. And three rhythms are clearly visible. The longer interval shown in yellow there is the cycle of the breath, and you can see it as a modulation of the whole cycle. The shorter medium rhythm there is the heartbeat, which can be clearly seen. The very fine rhythm, which is a little hard to see in this, is the nerve nervous system pulsating, um, or the brain waves, if you like, pulsations throughout the body. These are, one of the common rhythms there is closely related to the Schumann resonance found uh, as the oscillation around the earth. And this diagram here, based on some research, shows quite clearly that the various multiples of the Schumann rhythm, rhythm are present uh, in human brain waves. Um, at about multiples of about seven cycles per second. Other things, even blood taken from a human being and put in a centrifuge shows regular rhythms of three minutes as shown in this diagram at the rate at which blood is sedimented. This rhythm of three minutes and related ones of six, eighty and 160 minutes are present in many living systems and I'll deal with this in greater detail in another talk.